Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to share with you guys my like top, I don't know, my favorite beauty products to use right now. Um, I don't know why I have this like creative bug again, but I am so grateful that it came back and I want to share with you guys my favorite products. I do have a video on my channel like this maybe from last year about like just my favorite products overall but this time i'm going to stick strictly to beauty and like makeup so if you like this video please don't forget to like uh subscribe for sure and comment down below what's your favorite beauty product so far this year and by the way i did not do my hair for this video and i can do whatever i want because it's my birthday so the first thing that i'm going to show is my morphe james charles palette I know it's like an oldie but it's such a goodie and I use it on a regular basis you can tell I've hit pan on some of the colors this one fell out and broke I think I dropped it but this color here so good I love it so much and as well as this I use this one as a blush on a daily basis when I want something that's like neutral and natural so yes the James Charles palette is probably number one go-to so number two is a bundle of products still but I use them on a daily basis and I might butcher the pronunciation but I think it's lineage and it is the lip sleeping mask I have in the um, scents berry and green apple and something else I don't know Whatever they are, they're really good. It's a lip sleeping mask. I'm guessing you're supposed to put it on at nighttime. But I legit put them on every day, any time of the day. It does not matter. They make my lips feel amazing, super soft. And they're really good to use, like right after you exfoliate and just lather it all over the lip. Now, in conjunction with the lip sleeping mask that I just showed is the actual lip balm. I uh, just purchased this not too long ago and it's quickly like jumped to the top of my list of favorite products because I can just put it in my back pocket or my purse. I don't have to use like my finger or the little spatula that, that comes the, 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 <laughs> the little spatula that comes with the balm. So most times, I, I don't know what a spatula is, so most times I just dig my nail in there, but sometimes kind of gross, but it's mine. So with this, the lip balm works perfect and I can just legit put it lather it all over my lips still feels amazing smells amazing it smells so good and i love them next up is two products that i've been using for a little while now and you can tell they've been used and they've been used a lot so don't judge me okay but I actually got these from my local Walgreens one day and now I am obsessed and I've, I've used this in a couple of videos and pictures on my Instagram but this is the Black Radiance uh, foundation and concealer for the foundation I am in the shade Cashmere which is 8412 and then for the concealer stick it's a, like a roll up concealer stick I'm in the shade 8001 and they didn't have a test or anything for me to try and it kind of just took a while guess and surprisingly they work very well but this combo together has been so good to me in conjunction with the concealer from black radiance i have also been in love with the combo of the air spun i know the air spun from like walmart powder and the Laura Mercier um, tr translucent medium deep powder so I will open one of the tops and mix a little bit of both of them together and that's what I use with my Laura Mercier brush and pat it underneath the eyes to set my concealer and to bake a little bit and this combo has just been everything for me and um, yeah it's been lasting for a really long time so I love this combo along with the concealer and I doubt if I'm going to change it up at all anytime soon. This next area is the last little, oh, it's probably what I have the most products of in my entire makeup collection <laughs> and that's lipsticks and lip glosses. All right, I'm going to do glosses first because I rarely wear them, but when I do, it's like, ooh, I kind of just wanted to do something extra dramatic. 
So I am going to start out with my favorite two glosses right now. They're both by NARS. I believe I have the old packaging of these glosses, but the pink one, it's a really, really light pink. It's called International Velvet by Mar NARS. Mars. Nice. It's, it's really, really pink. Almost sheer see-through, but I love wearing this by itself or putting it over a really light pink lip. And then the second shade is called Giza? Giza? <laughs> I'm gonna um, put it down below. Everything will actually be listed down below, but this is actually the color that I am wearing today. It's, you can barely see it, but it's a neutral kind of color. As you guys already know, I love neutrals, but it's more of, it's definitely like more of an orange or peachy kind of tone. Favorite. Definitely a favorite. Now, my next set of products are going to be my all-time favorite makeup products to date. Um, they are liquid lipsticks. I used to love lipsticks. MAC lipsticks were my favorite things. Those little bullets used to be everywhere in my purse. Since liquid lipsticks became a thing, it's been my thing. So I am going to show you my favorites. They are all nudes that work for my skin tone, but I'm pretty sure they could work for your skin tone. You can make them work for any skin tone, actually. So, so I don't often wear a lip liner. I actually use a liquid lipstick to wear a lip liner. So the first color that I'm going to show you is... NYX lingerie, the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Beauty Mark. It's a really like cool tone nude. It looks like this here. So I will use it to outline my entire lip when I want something like a softer nude. And then the next shade is Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted. And this is when I want to be a little bit more, like, not precise, but I want my lip liner to be darker, basically. So that looks like that. It kind of reminds me of a cork from MAC and a chestnut from MAC, almost. But I love these two to be used as lip liners. So I don't know if you guys recognize it but for the most part I'm always wearing a nude lip. Nude lips are my things <laughs> and if I'm wearing a nude lip it's 10 times out of 10 an ombre nude lip. So the color that I like to place in between is on my ombre nude lips. <laughs> Two different ones. The first one is going to be from Dose of Colors again. Of course I love them. This is in the shade Cork. And I'm going to put this right under Beauty Mark from NYX. Looks like that. And then the next one is my all-time favorite. Like, my all-time favorite nude lipstick of all time. How many times have I been? <laughs> it's my all-time favorite nude lipstick. And this is from Pow Morphe. This is in the shade True Story. And if I could wear this lipstick every day, I would. I've, I'm probably on my third or fourth tube of this, but judge your mama. It looks like this here. I like it because, I like it a little bit more than the cork because it's not as orange toned as this one. It's just really pretty, especially paired with Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted. Mm, it's like the best nude combo ever all right and then lastly to finish out this nude ombre kind of look combo that I always do <laughs> it's another dose of colors lipstick and this is in the shade sand and obviously I love dose of colors lipsticks if I could afford the whole collection, I would probably buy the entire collection, but I'm gonna keep my cool, okay? So this is the shade Sand from Dose of Colors. Oh, that just looks so pretty. Even these three look so pretty. I can't deal. 
all right and then the last color is from Anastasia Beverly Hills actually and this is in the shade sand this was in one of the um it was in like a set of four or five I believe it was four liquid lipsticks and a lip gloss and I absolutely bought it for this color but it looks like this oh man I'm in love this like color scheme on the lips Oh me <laughs> all right guys so that's all I have for today those have been my favorite beauty products to use I would say for about a solid year or so now I just haven't put them down um, besides the black radiance I've been using that for maybe a month or two and it hasn't seen me wrong I'm actually needing a refill of it I need to go get more so <laughs> That's probably where I'll go when I leave here. So, all right, if you like the video, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And also, please don't forget to comment down below what your favorite beauty product has been so far or that you're just absolutely in love with or something that you want to try that I showed you today. All right, thank you. Bye.